Welcome to The Wrap Studios. I'm Stuart Braswell here with Machen Amick, and we are talking Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks! How was it to put that uniform back on for the first time after so many years? I started crying. I went in and, and did a fitting, and it was the same uniform that I wore. It still had my initials in it, and I just was overcome with emotion, and it was just really touching. And um, on the one hand, I was incredibly proud to put it back on, but, um, but yeah, it was just very emotional. Were you also kind of going, gosh, she's still a waitress at the... I kind of loved it, to be honest. What do you think about those who have not seen the original? What Do you feel that this is something that they could come onto, or do people need to be binge watching the original Twin Peaks right now? No, you can come onto it, um, but you really, I, th I think you really do need to, uh, to watch the originals just to know where it came from. I think if you just come into it right now not seeing anything, you'll enjoy it. It's going to be great. Right. Um, but just to see all the little quirkiness and the nuances that are layered in to have a reference back to the original I think is important. So David Lynch did not want to call these episodes. He's calling them parts, right? So it's yeah. like one... Well, because he filmed it like one gigantic movie, 18-hour long film. Mark Frost and David Lynch said that they had to be responsible and not release it all at once because they would be taking away people's lives <laughs> for 18 hours because you know yeah. that if you sit down to watch it, you're not going to stop. Do you have a memory that really stands out to you from the original? The original? Well, I always talk about that um, the, the very iconic scene of Shelly and Bobby in the car driving home and they're drinking the flask and they're flirting. It's kind of the first time that you're introduced to the two of them. Um, David Lynch was lying on the the floor of the car at my feet because it was it was driving you know we were we were the scene was Dana was driving and so David Lynch is not somebody who will go in another car and watch the monitor with headphones like he wants to be there he wants yeah. to you know direct you personally so he was just laying down there as we were up here you know, doing the scene and then like, you know hey, David hi and he just would say really good, you know, and then Dana tells this story about David, you know, I mean, how passionate should our kissing be, you know, like from a scale from one to ten, and he would say, Dana, it's an 11. Well, we're so excited. The return is on Showtime May 21st. 21st, so be sure to Sunday watch. Sunday nights, just don't plan anything else in your life.